Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the main message of my video, I just wanted to recognize the generosity of the subscribers and Patreon patrons that I have received this week. I've had three people sign up, two through PayPal and one through Patreon, and I appreciate their generosity and the confidence they have in the content that I One of the benefits of becoming one of my Patreon patrons is a vocal shout out to my videos. So I recognize Kara Leanne as my first Patreon patron. I appreciate Kara Leanne, the leadership that you've shown in becoming my first patron. Patreon patron, and I hope that your example sets a foundation for other patrons to come along in the future. For all three of you, your monthly subscriptions mean a lot to me and make it possible for me to continue providing the content that I provide here on YouTube as well as on my blog and on my social media accounts. And I look forward to being able to continue to produce content, thanks in part to your generosity. So let's get back to the main message of this video. When I took my seven-year-old to ballet this past weekend, I noticed quite a few vehicles in the universe parking lot that were in various states of disrepair. Some had cracked windshields, some had broken grills, some had duct tape either masking blemishes or holding parts together, some had patches of rust, and all this reminded me that we live in a society that doesn't pay its workers sufficiently. Vehicle owners who can't afford to save money to cover unexpected expenses like vehicle repairs or who don't have enough money left over each month after they've paid their bills to cover unexpected expenses. So chips become cracks and cracks spread and multiply. Paint bubbles become rust and rust becomes holes and tires get bald and oil doesn't get changed and brakes wear down. And when the vehicle finally breaks down, its owner buys another cheap vehicle that's already falling apart because that's all they can afford and the cycle continues because we're opposed to $15 minimum wage and think it's okay for CEOs to make as much in just one weekday morning as the average employee makes in an entire year because we think it's okay for landlords to buy up excess housing stock and charge more for rent than the house is worth because we think it's okay that a major grocery chain distributes $1.7 billion in profit to shareholders in 2018 instead of keeping grocery prices low because capitalism keeps the rich rich and the workers poor because poor workers are desperate they'll take any job and they won't jeopardize that job by organizing thanks for watching thanks to all these subscribers and patreon patrons who make this video possible you can follow me online at siever.ca slash kim i'm also on facebook twitter and tumblr if you appreciate the videos i share here on youtube the posts i write on my blog and the content i share on my other social media accounts please consider making a monthly donation either through paypal or patreon creating and curating this content takes a lot of time but i'm also running a business which makes my time limited your donation would mean i wouldn't have to drum up business to pay my bills which would allow me to devote more time to research searching issues like this one, and I could post videos like this more often. Thank you for your consideration and your support. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.